It's one o'clock time for the Joy Business Report. Coming up in our headlines, some oil marketing companies increase prices of petroleum products at the pumps with a litre of diesel and petrol selling at 12 cities 95 pesos. And 2022 Auditor General's report expresses worry of about $741 million over due receivables as of December 2021 that has not been retrieved by the Ghana Gas Company. Also in this bulletin, stakeholders in agri sector criticizes Finance Minister for his silence on failure of the One Village One Dam project in the media budget presentation. We have details of these and many others shortly. I am Pius Kojo Baka. Let's now settle for the details. Some oil marketing companies have increased prices of petroleum products at the pumps. Goyle is selling a litre of diesel and petrol at 12 cities 95 pesos. Another player, Star Oil, is selling a litre of petrol at 11 cities 99 pesos, while diesel is going for 12 cities 25 pesos. Some of the oil marketing companies are linking the adjustments at the pumps to sudden hike in prices of finished petroleum products at the pumps. Analysts say this is the biggest jump in prices of finished products on the international market since January. To some other stories, the 2022 Auditor General's report has expressed worry of about $741 million over due receivables as of December 2021 that has not been received uh, retrieved by the Ghana Gas Company. It is therefore urging management to explore practical alternative means to collect the amount owed it from the affected institutions. There is more. In this report the period for the indebtedness range between one and four years as of the time of the audit in august 2022 these receivables were still unpaid the auditor general report therefore recommended to management to explore practical means to recover the liability from the affected institutions including legal actions to pursue over aged debt. Again, the report uncovered that management invested 10 million CDs with Liberty Asset Management Limited for six months at a 17% interest rate in August 2018. It's further noted that management was unable to redeem the principal amount plus interest totaling about 10.847 million CDs when it matured in February 2019 due to Bank of Ghana's revocation of the license of Liberty Asset Management Limited in May 2019. At the time of this report, the principal amount plus the interest rates have still not been recovered. The Auditor General therefore recommended to management to pursue the recovery of the locked up funds from the receivers of Liberty Asset Management Limited. A business desk report. Let's touch on some banking news and Bank of Ghana has assured it that its ability to perform as its regulatory function has not been affected despite the challenging financial position. It is coming after the regulator posted almost 61 billion cities loss for last year, resulting in a negative equity for the bank. There is more in a question and answer released by the Bank of Ghana. The central bank in a circular, however, maintained that the current position of 51 billion Ghana cities negative equity should be a cause of concern at any point in time. That is why steps must be taken to recapitalize the central bank. Otherwise, sustained period of negative equity could undermine its credibility going forward as a bank. It has added that for this reason, the Bank of Ghana itself has put in place structures to ensure that it remains solvent and deliver on its primary mandate. One of this will include recapitalization of the Bank of Ghana over the next five years. The central bank added that its equity and earning capacity should be high enough in the long term to ensure that sufficiently make it possible to support the economy going forward. My colleague George Yafe with that report there. Now, Ghanaian banks are showing some confidence in dealing with risk of financial and other related crimes that might threaten the sector. This assertion comes after interaction with selected bank risk officers to understand the dynamics of such crime on the sector. 
country director for the Ghana International Bank, Bafu Ohini Abankwa, believes the participating banks now have more abilities to assess such risks. Data has been shared, has been well received. There have been case studies, there have been presentations by the participants, and we see good exhibition of knowledge and the skills that we've tried to impart. And so we're very confident about improvements that we are giving these banks in terms of their ability to assess, measure the risk that they face from a financial crime perspective and also to put in place controls to ensure that those risks do not crystallize. Bafwa Ohedia Bankwa is the country director for the Ghana International Bank. Now, the Ghana Mine Workers Union has made a passionate call on the Council of State to expeditiously resolve the termination of contract of three of its workers by Sudan Asogli for joining the union, else they will resort to their earlier plan of embarking on a nationwide strike. According to the union, the timeliness uh, given or the timeline given by the Council of State to address the issue has elapsed. Speaking at the union's National Executive Council meeting, General Secretary of the Ghana Mine Workers Union, Union. Mumen Gbana said the right of workers to join a union must be protected by the government. To remind the Council of State and by extension the government about the commitments made to organize labor to peacefully resolve the matter and therefore urge them to prioritize the resolution of the matter without any delay. I repeat, in the interest of national peace and harmony and in the spirit of the constructive conversations that took place between organized labor and the Council of State, we would like to use this medium to remind the Council of State and government about the commitments made to peacefully resolve the matter. On to one of our headline stories, and the General Secretary of the General Agricultural Workers Union, Edward Kariwe, has indicated that the agricultural sector expected government to address irrigation issues faced by farmers under the Planting for Food and Jobs program in the media budget. Mr. Kariwe added that government's One Village, One Dam initiative, which was to help address irrigation issues under the Planting for Food and Jobs program, have failed. He spoke to Joy Business. If you have an agricultural system under the Plant for Food and Jobs where irrigation projects have failed. Because the one village, one dam project, which they said was meant for irrigation purpose, was also to I mean, support the plan for food and jobs program. That whole project is a failure because the dams they constructed cannot hold water. Now, again, if you have within the period that the plan for food and jobs program has been implemented, where a major dam, like the Polgo Dam, work on it has stalled, and we don't know when work on it will commence, certainly it affects Edward Kariwe is the General Secretary of the General Agricultural Workers Union speaking there. Now, Textiles Ghana Limited, producers of Risco and GTP Fabrics, has launched a new collection in addition to its wide range of designs. According to its marketing director, Marianne Boatin, her outfit is committed to creating quality and affordable fabrics to suit the demands of the market. She spoke to Joy Business at the launch of the new collection. So one thing about Blisco is the quality. So the quality, the feel, the look, the designs are unique in its own way. But every quarter we come up with a new collection and each of the collections that we come out with special designs, they are limited editions. So when you see this collection and it goes, you'll see another collection again. So we have a theme of designers that come up with these collections to um, keep in trend with the fashion trends and then the things that are happening around the world, things that people like. Now, corporate institutions have been urged to leverage on artificial intelligence to increase productivity. According to Chief Executive Officer of Data Wear Tech, Kwesi Akufi, AI can aid businesses in streamlining job processes and aggregating data to prevent job losses. He explained that businesses can incorporate AI to reduce operational costs and increase efficiency. He spoke to Joy Business at an industry academia dialogue organized by the Institute of ICT Professionals in partnership with the AFOS Foundation at the University of Ghana Business School. Well, you know, one of the, the things that a lot of people say is that AI is taking away jobs. But when you look critically at it, as much as AI changes the way businesses do things, AI also creates new opportunities for new businesses. So in other ways, even though we are losing jobs, in a way, we are also creating new ones. And so leveraging this technology, we are able to provide solutions and services that serve different needs that perhaps were not there in the first place. And we can rely on that to create new jobs for, for everybody. Akwesi Kofi is the Chief Executive Officer of DataWare Tech there. Now, for your money tip on Money Lab, let's now hear from Kofi Poli, Chief Operations Officer of People's Pension Trust, has the details what to look out for when choosing a pension scheme.
Hello and welcome to Money Lab. My name is Kofi Poli, Chief Operating Officer of People's Pension Trusts. We continue our pension team base this time around, looking at how to choose a pension scheme. To choose a pension scheme, we focus on Tier 2. Tier 2 is being run by corporate trustees, private entities. And therefore, to choose a corporate trustee, one of the things you want to do is to find out if they are in good standing with the National Pensions Regulatory Authority. Two, if the scheme being offered is registered with the National Pensions Regulatory Authority. Finally, you want to find out their investment policy because that will affect your accrued benefits. And of course, you can also look at their services. How easy is it to get your statement of accounts? With that, we end today's episode. And in our next episode, we will look at choosing the scheme under the tier 3. Thank you very much. People is the chief operations officer of People's Pension Trust speaking there. And in the Joy Business Report, let's take some messages from our sponsors, Echo Bank. Well, does your existing salary account give you more? Is your salary the right account? Worry no more. The Echo Bank salary account is here to help you. Open an Echo Bank salary account today and enjoy free life insurance, which covers temporary and permanent total disability, critical illness, hospitalization, retreatment, and death. With the Echo Bank salary account, you have the ability to save as you spend free debit card, access to loans, and more. The best part is that you stand the chance to win uh, double your salary in the Ecobank Double Salary Promotion Reloaded from now till end of July. So open an Ecobank salary account today by visiting an Ecobank branch or ecobank.com to open an account online for amazing benefits. Please be aware of scammers who may contact you on this offer. Always visit an Ecobank branch or call Ecobank to free on 0800 003 for further details on the Ecobank salary account and the Ecobank double salary promotion reloaded. Terms and conditions apply. Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. I am Pius Kojo Baka. Ignition is next with Sami Forsen. Do enjoy.